I'd like to take a few moments to talk to you about a tree. And not just any tree, but one tree in particular. This tree isn't the tallest or straightest or most attractive in our woods. It doesn't dominate the middle of a clearing. It doesn't provide much shade on a sunny day. It wouldn't make good firewood or lumber or give enough birch sap to justify tapping it. We couldn't harvest enough of its bark to make a canoe or even a basket. And yet right now, this might just be my favorite tree on our entire property. This tree is special. And not just in the hippie way that all living things are special, though I am the kind of guy who would say that sort of thing. No, this tree isn't special because of what it is, but rather because of what it has become. You see, early on in this tree's life, the future likely looked pretty good. It was lucky enough to sprout up in the middle of a favorable environment. It was surrounded by dense cedars to its north, but the opening to its south ensured consistent access to the warmth of the sun. And with a number of successful relatives in the vicinity, all signs pointed to this tree's long and healthy life. But then one day, an unexpected tragedy occurred. It might have been a windstorm or the accumulation of too much winter ice, but something sudden and unforeseen knocked this tree so hard that it bent it at an almost 90 degree angle and seriously damaged its once rigid upper half. If we look around, we can easily see other trees with similar inflictions, which may have been caught up in the same unfortunate incident. But there's a major difference between this tree and the others. This tree didn't succumb to its fate. It didn't give up in the face of tragedy. It persevered. It took what was originally just a small, unassuming branch on the side of its trunk, and by throwing all of its energy at this new opportunity, it found a way to thrive, to carry on up into the canopy. And now, years later, here it stands, a testament to its own strength. And while some may walk past this tree without giving it so much as a glance, and others might see its scars and think it an eyesore, to me, this tree has been a source of inspiration. And so I hoped it might be to you as well, if you're in need of it. When I was young, like everyone else, I had dreams and goals and ambitions for my future. Some of them were unrealistic, of course, but others were completely within the realm of possibility or even certainty. But when we have an entire life ahead of us, it's always easy to see the possibilities. Yet it's so much harder to comprehend the potential for the unexpected, for the tragedies, for the things that knock us off path at a 90 degree angle. And so despite our certainty, and despite the care with which we build those expectations into our own self-identity, unforeseen circumstances from beyond our control can pop up unexpectedly and change the course of our entire future. It could be an accident, a diagnosis, the loss of a job or the death of a loved one. It could be a divorce, a pregnancy, or the lack thereof. But the details aren't important. The exact severity and circumstances really don't matter. What matters is how we choose to deal with those circumstances once we find ourselves in them. Sure, we can wallow in self-pity for a little while. We can even close our eyes and deny the reality of our situation. But eventually, if we're to survive, we must accept our altered path and then get on with living. So this tree reminds me that even when our path seems so certain ahead of us, it can still fade into the realm of what might have been. But more importantly, it also encourages me that even when that path begins to fade, Strength and determination can shed light on a new path, one that might be just as fulfilling and uplifting and positive as the original. But this tree also holds another lesson, because its new path didn't just sprout into existence once the tragedy had already occurred. It had been there all along. It was simply a small side project, one of many in fact, no one could have walked past this tree in its younger days and determined that that branch would someday become its future. 
So if you find yourself in a place of uncertainty, rest assured that one of your many unassuming side projects might just end up becoming your new opportunity. And alternatively, if you're currently on track and the future looks good, then by all means enjoy it. But also remember that there's still value in trying new things along the way. Because you never know when your situation might change.